Hello families and parents. This video is intended to help you avoid power struggles with your children by using the technique of giving choices. So what um, are power struggles? Basically power struggles are when you tell your child to do something and he or she just flat out refuses. So you say, "Go, please go clean up your room and he or she will go, no, I will not. And so sometimes there's a stare off, maybe there's some silence, and then you, all of a sudden as a parent, you're going to start yelling at them like, go clean up your room right now. And the child will say, no, I'm not going to do it. And they're going to run off. That is what a power struggle is. And it happens in the home more frequently than we'd like. So one way to really help reduce um, these power struggles is by offering choices to our children. So what does the power of giving choices to our kids mean? Well, the first one is it helps our children feel a sense of control. So as adults, we typically don't like to be told what to do. Um, so our children are very much the same way, especially as their, their development is, is growing up. And so when we offer choices to our kids, um, it helps them learn how to make wise decisions and speak their minds. Um, it also helps them build a sense of respect um, as we kind of start to trust them in making decisions for themselves. So that, again, the second point here is that it helps children build that independence and autonomy. So there are three basic types of choices that you can give them. The first one are concrete choices. You can say, all right, would you like to have apple juice or milk for breakfast? That, that would be one way of a concrete choice. The second example I have is, do you want to read a book or color for relaxation time? Again, very concrete, tangible things. The second type of choice that you can offer to your children are choices with incentives. So choices that will give them something that they want afterwards. So you can choose to clean up your toys quickly. Then you can have some playtime on the tablet. That would be a second type of choice. The third type of choice are choices with consequences. You can choose to brush your teeth or I can brush them for you. So here are some quick tips on how to make giving options to your kids work. The first one is to avoid overwhelming your kids with too many options. So for example, the uh, concrete options, you don't wanna say things like, uh, do you wanna have a banana or a waffle or uh, pancakes or a breakfast sandwich for breakfast? That's sometimes just having way too many options can be a little too overwhelming. So you want to simplify that decision making process for them by offering maybe two, um, two options. And as they grow older, you can start adding in a little more. The second um, tip is to offer options that you feel comfortable with. So obviously, if you're going to present a, um, a choice for your, for your kids, you want to make sure that it's reasonable and it's something that you are okay with offering. Um, because we really can't blame our kids for picking something that you didn't want to offer it to them in the first place. So let's first say, you don't want to say in the morning, do you want to have um, a chocolate cake for breakfast? A chocolate cake for breakfast or would you like to have waffles and then they end up choosing chocolate cake even though you didn't want them to have it that would probably be very unproductive uh, the third tip is to be clear and consistent uh, so we kind of want to make sure that we uh, decide about the choices that our kids can actually make so are they really able to pick their own clothes or make their own selection from a restaurant menu or choose an activity, but only for an hour. So we really need to have clear rules um, about what is in the realm or what is appropriate for their developmental age. The fourth tip is 
don't ask for permission when offering choices. I'm totally guilty of this. Sometimes I'll say, um, would you like to have broccoli or peas uh, for dinner? Can you choose one? Okay, choose one, okay? Um, or I'll say, do you, for playtime, do you want to watch TV or do you want to color? Make a choice, okay? So by saying, make a choice, okay, or just saying, okay, with a question mark, um, you're, you're almost asking for permission. And that really takes away that parental part of just saying, you need to choose A or choose B. So just re be, just be very conscientious of how you are um, offering these options to your children. And then the last tip is to be clear about non-negotiable items. Um, so when a choice is not an option, sometimes we just have to gently put our foot down and just say, no, we won't be able to. You have to do a certain thing. And we'll talk a little bit more about that um, in the next couple slides. So what to do if your child refuses to make a choice? Well, you want to give your child a warning that you will make the choice for him or her. Uh, if your child still refuses, then you'll actually need to make that choice and follow through with that decision. So earlier I provided an example of giving a choice with a consequence. So you would say, you can either brush your teeth by yourself or I can brush it for you. And so you can ask it a couple of times and if your child is not... Um, making that decision, then you'll have to follow through and just say, okay, I will brush your teeth for you then. And really making sure that you follow through with what you're saying. What to do if your child keeps asking for something that is not one of your choices? Um, well, you want to, again, be a broken record. Give those two, two to three options again, over and over. Uh, sometimes that's very helpful and it shows your child that you're not giving in, but you're also allowing them the autonomy to make a decision based on the limitations. And so uh, that goes into number two. Those are their choices and just don't give in. And lastly, uh, as I mentioned earlier, if you're still, your child still won't make a choice, then make that decision for him or her after you've given them that warning. Hopefully these uh, tips will be helpful. Um, I think being able to offer more choices to our kids will really reduce uh, the frequency of the power struggles that you have together. Thank you.